Hi again, everyone. Pastor and Associate Mike Chinetti back with you after a week hiatus. We're standing outside in front of the world famous Taco Bell. Uh, but of course, you can barely see it because this truck is blocking my beautiful shot of what should be a world famous uh, sightseeing or destination. We're out here, Enterprise Street, over to our right. How's it going, everybody? So I think, uh, as has become our best, of course, the outside of the door here, and we are backing up here. We're outside of Claire Hall. So today we're going to be going inside. We should be, be staying outside. It's a beautiful yeah, day. Yeah, we're going to go inside yeah. Claire Hall. Absolutely. Here. Oh, I will have to put the code in. Oh, he's got to put the code back in. So while well, well, he's doing that, we'll... The annoying truck is still in my way, screwing me. Trying to talk about it. Alright, now we're in. Alright, so now we're entering Claire Hall. Small little entryway here. Watch your step. Yeah, I have to watch my step as I'm operating the camera. So we have a step down there. Yeah. It's kind of the entryway here. A little closet off to the off to the right here, a little utility closet. And go through here. Another another entryway. Everything is different layers or le different levels in here. As yeah, we go through. a lot of weird architecture in this. Yeah, built it. Uh, so for those of you who know, we're kind of outside the chapel area, and I have to back up. But this this here, those drawers and those cupboards, uh, this is basically like an old vestibule mm -hmm. slash you know sacristy area. Go ahead and open those up. Yeah, the top yeah, got some cabinets and whatnot. Cabinets. And Bases, some drawers, of course, red altar cloth for when the seasons change. Yep. Little yeah. interesting phenomenon over here. Brian, that, what, what does that look like to you? That looks like a, a confessional window. Kind me. of like a confessional screen. Kind of yeah. Thing for the uh, not face-to-face -face variety. Yeah. Yeah, but there, I wonder where that goes because... This is the closet. Right, I showed people that closet, but that, that well, screen isn't on the other side. I mean, that's a thick wall unless yeah. they put that in. Hmm. So there's no way that's like, well, okay, so how do you get to that? How does the priest get to that room to hear the nun's confessions? Maybe we'll, uh, we'll find out. Right, we'll find out, I'm sure. All right, so then go through here. That's the main part of Claire Hall. But before we go in there, we're going to... We're going to take us inside the chapel. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Which, it's a gorgeous day it to is see the chapel. Beautiful. Sunshine just streaming through our great stained glass windows here. Kind of take you up close to these. So stained glass windows all the way around the sanctuary of, of the mm -hmm. chapel. And what I always like about these stained glass windows too, Brian, is that they're, they're actually like shards of glass. Mm -hmm. Like it's not... A lot of times it's like a picture that they just use colored yeah. pieces yeah. of glass. These are actual actual like, cut stained glass. Yeah. I really like these. Yeah, they look beautiful. So we've got the uh, the altar here. Mm -hmm. all. We've got the Joseph uh, crucifix and Marian shrines. And then of course, uh, Brian, what's this what's this red candle up here in the corner? Yeah, so this is the sanctuary lamp. Sanctuary lamp, and it, it, it is lit. You can see the little light inside. Talk, to, talk to me a little bit about sanctuary lamps and what's the, what's the purpose. Yeah, of so sanctuary lamps uh, will always be lit uh, when Jesus is present. Um, in this case, that on the altar right. is our tabernacle. Right, the small box there is the tabernacle. So, the when, yeah, so when Jesus is present, the lamp is always lit. And that goes to the Jewish tradition of when the book is present, the, their sanctuary lamp is also lit. So oh, interesting. Ever, yeah, so if you ever go into a Jewish temple, they will also have a sanctuary lamp for their scripture. Kind of idea that the, the word of God is present, right? God yeah. It's present in his word. Yeah, as, of course, the New Testament comes to replace or fulfill the Old Testament. It's a lot of these traditions are fulfilled through Jesus. Yeah, and I always kind of, the sanctuary lamp is kind of just a nice 
helpful indicator for the faithful, so it's not like, well, the first thing you got to do is actually check the tabernacle and see if Jesus is actually here. Yeah. It's like, no, that's kind yeah. of the understanding that the lamp is lit, Jesus is present. Um, of course, occasionally it does go out before we can change it, but 99% it's lit, <laughs> Jesus is. Yes, yeah. yeah. the, the big time when he's not present, of course, is Holy th after Holy Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll notice that the, the lamp is extinguished at that point. Another thing to, to notice, we do fully functional chapel. It has stations of the cross all the way around, uh, seven on seven on each side. Uh, over here is the well. perfect number. The perfect number twice, right? Yeah. 14. So stations of the cross around both sides. Now, you can't really do much of a, a, a procession in here, but you can do stations yes. of the cross. A uh, little door there, Brian. Let's see what's inside the Yeah, uh, a little closet. Storage closet. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some what are these extra pews? Uh, yeah, pews or kneelers. I'm, I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure. Some kind of stand. I don't know what that one is, but uh, I, there's something hidden in the corner there, Mike. Hidden in the corner? It's not gonna jump out at me. Is it? No. Oh, so okay. There it is. We're on the yeah, other side. So there's the screen. There's the. So this so this would have been the, the where the priest probably would have come in and sit. Or the. Um, this may be where the people came. Oh, I guess you could do either way. The priest mm -hmm. could sit out there or they could come in here. It's just either side. Depends, would, yeah. This would be a, a tight little box to sit in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not as nice as the confession room we have in. No, and this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that holy water font thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's fairly new. I mean, that was installed within the last two years or so. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Mary and the child uh, Jesus there. Yeah, this is one of the I think favorite spots of parishioners here on here on mm -hmm. the campus. Oh yeah, and I've spent a lot of different prayer time in here over the over the years. And then uh, we actually used this last last summer is the well it was the chapel it was the prayer space for Vacation Bible School. Mm. So it was, it was one of the stations that the kids rotated through, and I was in charge of the prayer station. Um, so we did the the 15 minute prayer session, the prayer lesson in here every day, which was a lot of fun. Um, now it was tough giving it four different times to like four different <laughs> age groups. Yeah, uh, but yeah. we had a lot of fun with that. And, uh, shout out to my man Noah Cope. He, he just graduated eighth grade uh, here at St. Alice. He was my helper last year on that. We had a, we had a good time doing that. And, uh, then one of our favorite parts of the, the chapel, the, the blue carpet, Ryan. Yeah, I love it. I don't. They match the stained glass really well. They do because a lot of blue in the stained yeah. glass. Uh, though I've, I've heard. Many don't like the color carpet. You know what? I love it too. Blue is yeah. my favorite color. It's you know it's Marian, Mary's color, mm -hmm. and because there's so little traffic in here, like it's squishy. Like it it's got a great. Yeah, it looks very clean. It's got a great feel to it. Um, yeah, I'm like you. I, I thumbs up on the blue, <laughs> blue carpet. Blue I, I'm a fan. I don't I don't mind it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, this is our normally when it's not. When we're not dealing with a coronavirus pandemic, this is our, of course, our adoration chapel on, on Fridays. Where we've done a 24-hour adoration. We hope to get that started back up in here pretty soon once we can kind of have people in smaller spaces together. Hopefully, hopefully sooner than later on, yeah. on that. All right, so heading out of the chapel, we've got another step to navigate as we go. Actually, two steps here. Up, up, into the, uh, to the main body of Clare Hall here. This is definitely the hall part. Yes, yes. So, I mean, I, I mean, I'm I'm as guilty as anybody. When I say Claire Hall, I'm what am I? It's like I'm referring to this. I refer yeah, to the chapel. Is, Technically, where we were just in is the chapel. This is actual Claire. Hall. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's very spacious. Yeah, it's it's a good room, good sized room, used primarily these days by the Knights of Columbus, RCIA, Women's Bible Study, um, youth group has used this space over the years. Um, of course, you know, different decorations here and there. Most notably, definitely want to show this to people, a um, little glare there, but uh, this icon picture of St. Clair, uh, which of mm -hmm. course makes a lot of sense because when the school was built in the, the late 50s, the Sisters of St. Francis were the ones that taught in the school. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the association with Clare and Francis. Clare started the, the female Franciscans with St. Francis' help. Um, so it was the St. Francis Sisters. And of course, their patron Saint Clair, mm -hmm. Clair Hall Chapel, and mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, plenty of cabinets. Yeah, a lot of good. Cool, yeah. These are massive. You can yeah. put, you can stick people yeah, in. There's these. a lot. There's a lot of room in these. 
and Different candles and youth whatnot. Group stuff. Yeah. RCIA cabinets. Yeah, these are these are massive. A lot of good storage space here. And then, so like over at the the Paris Center, right? Yeah. It was an old rectory. Yes. Yeah. Um, these are where our sisters lived. This was the this was the housing. This is the common area. Right. Uh, fireplace and. Yeah, so it's one of those things where, like, why why is there a fireplace? Well, because it was their, it was their house. I mean, it was their, mm -hmm. I don't know if you could technically call it a convent or a nunnery, but it was certainly the sister's yes. house. This is yes. where they lived. Um, and I guess this was, like, the, the living room area. Mm -hmm. um, different shelves all the way around. Of course, the kind of the AV center we've got in here, new, new TV and DVD player. That's all fairly new. Helps with yeah. our CIA. Little little dining area, perhaps over here. Right. Yeah. So this this is the dining room, as you can still see. There's like yeah, a lot of glassware and china. Yeah. And I know people that like it was. It's more open now, but I, there are there are people here that remember knocking this wall out. There used to be like a, a, a much more. I mean, there's a little bit of a wall here. It's like a little half wall. But this, these were two separate rooms. Mm -hmm. um, there's some stories about. The, the demolition to open this all up. <laughs> oh yeah, dining room area over here, kind of a, a buffet. Mm -hmm. All kinds of drawers. And again, so it, I got an, an op an, uh, an example of how we've re reconfigured a space for our modern day use. Of course, this would have been the, the yeah. sister's kitchen. Nice kitchen. Still, still fun. And again, bigger than my kitchen at home. Yeah, yeah, bigger than mine too. Well, I, I don't think I've seen an island like this in a long time. An island with a, with a stove top in it? Yeah, I mean, wow, that's definitely interesting. Yeah, and then the, the oven the oven over here with always yeah, the, the, the very entertaining warning on it. Heat 75 degrees hotter than 70. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely tech, uh, to me at least, ancient tech. But it, you know, it's, it's funny when you see a sign like that, you know there's a story. There's, that goes, <laughs> there's a story that goes along with that, right? Yeah. Dishwasher. I know the um, the teachers use this area a lot more. Oh, than do the they really? Staff. Yeah, the teachers use this area a little bit uh, during the school year for their lunches and a little bit of cooking. Uh, they may do little pantry. Oh, here's another door up. Oh, yep. So this this takes you living area again. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this wraps around. This is where we just were. That's where we came in. Little storage little closet. closet. Yeah. Very small storage closet. Mm -hmm. Coat closet. That pantry, it looks like. Oh yeah, for sure. And then, uh, what would this have been? You know, I don't know what. Now? Yeah, I don't know what this was used for back here because, like, the, oh, this looks like, well, behind these decorations. Oh, this was laundry room. This is the laundry room. Okay, so yeah, yeah, there's your water, water intakes, laundry room, and. Uh, that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, it does. So, but basically now it's storage area, some youth group stuff stored back here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. chairs. Cabinets galore. Yeah, yeah, a lot of storage. I wish I had this stuff in my place. Uh, yeah, I have like four. Four cabinets. Yeah, yeah. and uh, this is the, um, for orientation, this is the lot that we came in. Right, so we would be facing Worcester out that way. Mm -hmm. uh, Enterprise, that direction. Another uh, door. Worcester that way. Yeah, another door. Another door. Okay. So this is where we came in then. All right. So and we wrapped all the we wrapped all the way around. Oh, so this is a hamper. Oh, okay. So yeah, this yeah, is yeah. where they'd get their clothes. And okay, that makes stuff. sense for the for the laundry. Since room. this is back here, this is the laundry room. Yeah, and more cabinets. Cabinets and storage in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah they have like just storage galore. I know. I I really wish I had this. <laughs> I wonder how many, we'll have to find out how many like sisters there were at any yeah, time. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. Okay, so we're going around again. Yep, back through. Oh, um, we didn't talk about these curtains here, or these, uh... Oh, yeah, let's... Light shining through here. Let's, let's go over here. And, uh, I think there's a chance these may actually open up for us. Oh, look at that. This is by far my favorite place here. Alright, so we're going outside. We're gonna take people back as we're gonna pull literally pull back the curtain. Yeah. Alright, so wow. we are yeah. out here in the courtyard. And for orientation purposes, 
for those of you that watched episode two, if you haven't go back and watched it, and that's where Brian and I were standing when we were up on the roof looking down into the courtyard. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this place is gorgeous. This would have been a really cool place to hang out for the sisters. Yeah. You got a good view of the chapel. Yeah, so we're outside the chapel here. Those are the that's the stained glass just from the other side. There you can see it pretty well. Nice garden. Patio area. Yeah, and we, we do have, there's a, there's a flower bed that runs all the way around here. Some, yeah, no, we actually have some blooms right now. Any idea what those are, Brian? I have no idea. They are flowers. They are a type of flower. They are a type of flower. Mm. That's as yes, far as I'll go. Pollen, I'm sure. Pollen, and, well, is that, that looks like, those, are, those have thorns, but that doesn't look like a rose. Uh-uh. Yes, I think the scientific term for these are leaves. Okay, we have leaves and flowers. No, no, the, or those, no, no, the flower petals. That's not <laughs> yeah. right. Those are leaves. The flowers have petals. <laughs> well, this is, you know, nice. I bet you this was a Boy Scout project at one point. Crucifix in there. Alpha and Omega. Just down a little bit further, we have a, a Marian shrine. Statue of Our Lady. I always forget this is even here. Nice and shady back in here. Yeah, this gigantic tree is really big tree. Really nice. Yeah, really. Yeah, this would have been a really cool place, especially like obviously Clare Hall wouldn't have had air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. be able to come out summertime, sit out yeah, on the nice patio, drink and maybe a cookout. This, yeah, and then we're so these are the two um, the two wings of the school. So it, it would be up on these roofs that all that gravel would be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, forget how big this is. I mean, this is this is pretty good sized space back here. Yeah. And also another um, thing we've used traditionally for vacation Bible school. Mm -hmm. um, so I had the prayer station, but a lot of times one of the, the games station, mm -hmm. out, you know, send the kids outside, let them run around. We've done different of the, the games and the relays in here because it's also nice because you can you can kind of keep an eye on the kids. But more or less of an enclosed space. Yeah. Um, and then of course just the right playground. Back, right back here. Here's the Playground. Kind of parking lot. Right. Yeah, wow. So if you guys are parked out in the main lot, you can come on through and enjoy some. That's true. Enjoy some nice space out here. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Let's, let's view it. It's, it's a beautiful spot. It is. And then that's uh, we'll take in the, the kindergarten wing mm -hmm. of the school. Yeah. Beautiful. We couldn't have picked a better day to show No, it that. is gorgeous. Could not have picked a better day. It's lovely. Lovely and gorgeous. Here we go. Storage shed there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking some iced tea or lemonade hanging yeah. out later on today. Maybe pull a grill out. Now, now we're talking. <laughs> I think there's actually a spare grill over here. I think, I think there's think? a main one, and I think there's another smaller one. We may have to. We may have to go get some patties and requisition some burgers that. or something. It's not a bad idea. I like it. Oh. So staircase. Where, where's staircase? Oh yeah, here we go. Wow, that's kind of hidden. It is kind of back in this corner. Yeah. Let's go. Let's take a peek over here. Up the staircase. Wow. Oh. <laughs> is can you see that? Well, there's a. That's a door. It's a, out of handle. No, no handle on the door. So we can't go up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, figuratively, that is that is the door that Jesus stands at and knocks at that we have to open from the other side. Yeah. That's the door to our hearts. I wonder if we'll uh, find that door somewhere else. We'll have to find a way to get up there because, yeah, mm -hmm. there's, you can't, you really can't, unless it's a push-in door, but that would be really no, too easy. yeah. Pushing on door. Nope. It's, no. it's got to open from the other side. Huh. Yeah. Wow. All right, so that's that. Literally, that's the door that Jesus stands at and knocks. We have to open oh, it from the other side. Find this pew. This is a that's a heavy very pew. ornate pew. It's super deep. I mean, sit in that. Like, I mean, your your knees practically touch your yeah, chin when you sit in that pew. <laughs> but it feels like a, a kid's pew. But comfortable as heck. It is like, really. I've sat I've sat there like during RCA watching the lectures. Mm. Very comfortable. Yeah. And mm. not going anywhere. I wonder. What that's for? Why that? Wonder if there. it was in the the chapel at one point. Um, 
Or, you know, like so many things around here, that we, it's not our place to question or ask why. It's yeah. Just, yeah. It just is. The mysteries of our fate are not are not the Trinity and transubstantiation. It's why things are where they are. Yeah. Some another room. Right. So over here, um, we go over here. We're going to start running into a theme here. Um, there's another a bathroom. Wow. Uh. Because oh, and a mirror. Hey, everybody. The uh, again where the sisters live. So yeah. Bathrooms. Um, this door here. Um, a lot of this, the King Clare Hall, is currently now used by the school. This is where Mrs. Bowen has her office. She's the um, ASP uh, agent or worker for the school, manages the state funds and the books and technology and stuff that we get state money for mm -hmm. um, for the school. So she's in the process of process of processing wow, all yeah, the books. That, that looks like a hefty task. For the past school year and this door behind here that's just all full of books and school materials yeah um, so we couldn't even get in there if we tried but take my word for it it's just full just of books. books yeah mm. this probably was another communal space yeah, it looks something. like some kind of yeah you know a little antechamber here mm -hmm. mm. uh, looks like we got another door and we go through this door so this is the so this this is the school, right? That's going to take us to the school. This over here is the door, another door out to the courtyard. Yeah, yeah, right back out to the courtyard there. Yeah, sidewalk leading. To the yeah, park. right. Easy access to the yeah. parking lot. So this is the connection point between this building and the right with the brick. Right. Oh yeah, because here's the here's the plaque. So we kind of there's Claire Hall, and then there's this little little doorway here. And we go from the where the, the sisters would have lived. Wait, Brian, they had a long commute, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to teach. Yeah. But uh, school here. So now we have to go into the school to actually get to the second floor yeah. of Clare Hall. Locked for various security reasons. Yep. Well secured. So we now we go into the, the school itself. And upstairs. Make a left hand turn and go right back upstairs. So we have another plaque. Right, so that, that Claire just Hall. to prove it all to you. So there's an upstairs to Claire Hall. So, so this, that staircase must have led somewhere. All right, oh. so now we are officially upstairs in Claire Hall. And the, the first thing we run into is uh, a uh, boiler uh, room. Another boiler room. So what, this is going to be our third boiler room? Third boiler room. So I mean, this is old hat for people at this point. Hot water tank. Boiler. Hey, Brian, this one has a name. This is number three. This is number three. So we know where one and two are. Yeah. This is three. Huh. Hello, number three. Oh, nice. Window. Looking out the courtyard here. We're looking wow. at things. Yeah. So we're right above that yeah. entry door below. Solid cinder block. Yeah. <laughs> not going anywhere. Yeah. This is a smaller boiler room. Yeah, not, not, not nearly the room to, to spread out. Yeah. So that would have been doors, heating for the to the uh, facility here. And then I think this door here opens. Yeah. This is more, okay. So what's this, a computer room or something? I think that, I, oh, this, I think this is the server room. The server room? Yeah, like computer server, not like. Where the schools? Yeah. Yeah, this is different, uh, all these different things plugged in here. Yeah, the school technology. Again, Claire Hall, oh, upstairs at least, mostly used by yeah, our school I see at this point. A lot of name tags of teachers. So these would be teacher offices then? Teacher offices or um, I think some of the, yeah, the specialists, the tutors mm -hmm. uh, that work with the, with the kids. So, but think about if this was back in the day, I think all these. This, these were these the bedrooms then? Yeah, these were the, the bedrooms or the dorms or what, the cells. cells. Yeah. The cells, yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think this door we can get in here, Brian. Mm -hmm. this one here. Mrs. Sadowski's office. She's the, the tutor for the school. And this yeah. one is all right, so pretty good sized space actually, not huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, so this is this versus that bookshelf. This is built into the wall. Mm -hmm. And this looks like something you'd see a oh. little wardrobe. Yeah. Well that that's the same type of like woodwork that was down in the first yeah. the first floor. Yeah. 
At least she has air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah, she, she does have some air conditioning up here. It's pretty hot up here right now. It is, it is. Uh, so, I mean, a pretty small room, but, yeah. I mean, if all you're doing is living, like, I mean, just this sleeping up size, here. Yeah. I mean, you're literally coming up here just to sleep, and it's not like those sisters would have had a ton of personal possessions. So, yeah, yeah that clearly is a closet. It, yes. It's just been kind yeah. of open. And, and works fine for a tutor room. I mean, uh, you know, one, yeah, one nice. tutor and a, a student or two. An office. Our offices were bedrooms of, mm -hmm. at one point. More uh, teacher offices and whatnot. Right. So, the, uh, so what would this be then? So this is a... Another hallway up another, here. This looks more modern than this side does. These the offices on both sides used by uh, specialist counselor in the school. Mm. Well, so, do you think they added this part on? Yeah, I'm not sure because as you know, Brian just kind of stepped over a threshold. There. Yeah, this looks like it was once a door. I mean, this is a there is a wooden. Door. Yeah, and there's a doorway there, but I don't know why. Like, why differentiate this hallway from that hallway? Hmm. I wonder was this like well, a maybe an add-on? Add-on or know. a I mean, or maybe the, the the superior have her offices over here? Yeah. Or something that, yeah. Wonder, because this is definitely older, different kind of work than the other closet, books, and whatnot. School books. Okay, clear hole. Very much continuing legacy of education. Book racks oh on both gosh. sides. Look at this thing. Command and control. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. That's probably the uh, internal fan system. Wow, that looks... Controls. Huh. Like the, uh, I don't think I've ever seen something the whole like house, that. The whole house fan we have upstairs on our side. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what it is. Huh. So yeah, this again used by the school. We have you know, DVDs and VHSs mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. kind of piled up storage wise. Right, I think number ten here. Number will, ten will will open for us. I hope. Ooh, 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 right ooh. now we're gonna go in this room. And this is what is known as the paper room. Wow. And Brian, do you see why this is called the I paper room? I can see why this is called the paper room. Right. There is a lot of paper. We have an absolute ton of construction paper. <laughs> and what are those? I mean, those are reams? I mean, they're spools These of paper. These are, yeah, very, a lot of uh, copious amounts of paper. Here. I think these we got a donation of this at some point. So wow, yeah. Schools. Our school does not hurt for construction paper. No. Because then you open up here. Wow. Even oh more. My word. A whole, a whole, a whole, a whole metal cabinet of different colored construction paper. Yeah. This is definitely a paper room. Yeah. So. What looks? Was this a bathroom? Or a shower? There does look a sink here. There does look like there's a, a something over there. I wonder. Hmm. Oh yeah, here, here's a sink. See, I is wonder, there, could this have been a one of the rooms that had a like a, an attached bathroom mm -hmm. to it? You know, hmm. yeah, huh. this is interesting. Uh, yeah. So, if you ever hear anybody mention the the paper room, you can yeah, have wow. inside the paper room the paper cutting uh, apparatus. Yeah. Sharp. Keep Brian away from <laughs> Brian away from that. Oh, look here. Caution. Stairway. All right. Let's see. There so this is... That's where we were, folks. Yeah, so this must not have a door handle for the school. Right, security purposes. Security, yeah. So if, if anybody were able to get into Clare Hall from down there, they can't get up. Keep that nice and secured, of course, and exit, just in case. Right, emergency exit purposes. Yeah, good. So we found that door. This is the room where I think the Parent Association keeps a lot of their, their stuff. Huh. So we got more rooms here, and... And these are Another labeled closet. above the doors. I, I, again, I think these were all just um, all yeah cells. Cells, yeah, cells. Um, cell the cell block two. A communal bathroom here of some kind. You know, okay, um, that's probably why this was separate. Down look here. here. Look, is this the clothes chute? Yeah, this is an old-fashioned clothes chute. Yeah, that's so this, exactly what that is. I bet you that leads down to the. Um, well, there's there's only one way to well, find out. One way to find out. You, you want to throw? I, it? I can fit in there. I think. You, you, you think you can fit them? <laughs> no, we we've all. Were you one of those kids that wrote the hamper down at one point? No, no, I was not. I uh, definitely. I, by the time I had I had the courage to want to do it, I was, I was too big to fit. Yeah, yeah. But I I probably would have done a it. A lot of. Point. Ooh, a lot of storage closets. We'll have to Brian throw your keys down there. See if we can <laughs> throw my keys. Are we? Yeah, we're confident. Yeah, we'll figure it we're out. We're confident. We'll figure it out. Not your church keys, your personal keys. Oh, these are these are all my keys okay, here. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we'll, 
I mean, if you're <laughs> willing, let's, let's see. Let's see how committed you are. I guess we'll have to find it. <laughs> Ooh, they hit something down they, there. They, they did go somewhere. They stopped. <laughs> they stopped. I guess we'll have to find those. All right, let, let's. But uh, yeah, let's closets, open this up. Um, for. It's like, oh, it's costume stuff. Yeah. Gra grab, your, grab yourself. Yeah. Is that a pirate hat? <laughs> it looks like a pirate hat. <laughs> yeah. Put that on. Yeah, for the rest of the video. Yeah, you should. Oh, wait, we have swords. Oh my gosh, this they should not have <laughs> let us here. Yeah, now this we, is this is the best. We're gonna this have is fun the best it. day ever. Okay. Wow, oh, there are a lot of swords up there. Yeah, and I know there's a duct tape sword. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean there's a and there's like a Skidamar, you know, Arabian type sword. Wow, yeah. Can I hang on to this? <laughs> yeah. Can come in handy later. <laughs> yeah, very, very well, and I know that in this closet is um, one of these bins. Um, for those that have attended over the years, the our youth group is put on Stations of the Cross, mm -hmm. like live or like okay. Stations of the Cross. And I know a lot of the, the costumes for that um, for that production are in that in that closet. You know what? You know what these are? These look at the top. These are showers. These are showers. All. Let me turn the turn the lights on in here. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Yeah, okay, yeah. you're right. Wow, that is you can a, see, yeah, the showers, you can see where they were. Shower stalled oh, there. So this was a communal bathroom. Bathroom of some kind. Yeah, because all these, um, they're lined with, with tile. You can see the tile there. Yeah. Oop, fan. Wow, there's a shower here, too. Bathroom right here. Yeah. Now, it looks like it's a working bathroom. There's toilet paper. There's toilet paper. Hmm. Yeah, that, that'll work. Oh, that oh, looks that's, like... Interesting. You get a little huh. blue ambiance when you're in there. Yeah, I guess so. What do we? What do we got? Another one here. Yeah, it looks like another bathroom. Oh, except there's <laughs> somebody in it. Uh, that, wow. <laughs> another sister. Uh, yes, uh, that would be uh, sister fi <laughs> sister fiesta. Oh, that's funny. That's <laughs> funny. So that's uh, for biology class, I guess. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if they can anatomically use that facility. But <laughs> well, we'll we'll let. Let her do her business. <laughs> okay. And, and then got, what else we got? Oh, okay, another so toilet. These, okay, yeah. So this would have been the, the bathroom area for sure. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's rocking and rolling now. That fan still works. You hear that? Wow. <laughs> yeah, shower stall. Huh. Interesting. Wow. All right. So in a, and kind of a again serving as storage for us. Yeah. I at, guess at we point. need to go find my keys. Well, we probably should. Uh, we should probably go find your keys. And should we go? Go down this way? Yeah, let, you know what? Let's go down this way. Yeah, let's check it out. There we go. Yeah, okay. Okay. I see. Alright, back down in the living room. Yeah. Um, laundry room. Right, it's probably where we're headed. Yeah. Alright. Uh, So this is the laundry room back down here. See any metal chutes in there? I, I don't, and nowhere they can connect. But uh, I mean, unless the hamper here was. Oh, that would make sense. Hey! Are you serious? Hey. Dun, dun, dun. Wow! Wow! So they just throw their clothes, and there's the hamper. So this must be the chute. Yeah, through. and they come around the other side. Yeah, so this little, so this, oh yeah, that's metal. Okay, so yeah. So that's the chute. Oh. So that's, that's actually pretty uh, pretty ingenious. Yeah, pretty handy. that's, yeah, that's fine. It just goes right down the chute and next to the, what we're assuming now is the, the laundry, the laundry room. Room. But I mean, I think that makes, yeah. that makes perfect sense. Now used for storage and kitchen stuff. Brian, depending on how hot it gets this summer, we have to, we might have to requisition <laughs> this. I mean, that is a massive that air conditioner. Is, yeah, very, very large. I don't know who's, you know what? How about you and your three windows giving up a window <laughs> for, for, for an air conditioner? Another, yeah. Well, we're back where we're starting. Yeah. So speaking of that, I guess we'll uh, we'll see you guys back up in the uh, back up in the office. Yep. Do my slide on in here. Yeah. All right, Brian. Claire Hall. Thoughts. Favorite. Yeah. Of course, my favorite place is that courtyard. Mm -hmm. It's such a nice place. I mean, it's really well kept too. Um, Probably because it doesn't get a lot of foot traffic. The grass is really I'd, pristine. Yeah, I'd really love to use that a lot more. I like and the idea of a cookout out there. Yeah, cookouts for sure. And 
it's it's right there connected to the parking lot so come on over and visit i think that's a really great place we can start doing stuff doing stuff in um I loved the chapel. I yeah. think that's a great, great little place. People have talked about um, for years how much they enjoy doing adoration there. I mean, I know that there are parishioners that will come at 2 o'clock in the morning and pray there. Yeah, I mean, our church is so grand. It's oh, yeah. so, it's large. It's, I mean, to any general church, that is a nice, large church. Mm -hmm. We have a great Mural space. is gorgeous. But that there's something equally impressive about that small little place well it's intimate um the stained glass is very beautiful yeah um you're that close to the tabernacle i mean i, I think you know you're in tune with jesus is right there i mean he mm -hmm. god is everywhere but he is very present right there and you're yeah. very close to him yeah there. it's so similar to the little chapels you see all around mm -hmm. um hospitals and whatnot well and as it's, people have remarked, and I even pick up on a little bit, I mean, I feel like there's parts of Clare Hall where you still feel the nuns a little bit, right? You feel yeah, the sisters. There's a presence there. Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're watching me, you know? I mean, the whole place is so homey. It, just like every other part of this parish. It was a lived-in place. Yeah, clearly. It makes, it just makes it feel that much more connected, I, I almost want to say, but... Yeah, and of course, Being probably close. some of our viewers, viewers that went there as you know school kids and remember actually being taught by the sisters. They're like, "What are they talking about? They hated our guts, and we were scared yeah. of them." And we're like, "But it's so nice, and they were yeah, so there's, happy, there's and it was a lot homey." Behind but, it. Yeah, but I mean, I find it very comforting uh, place. Yeah. What do you think? What was your favorite? Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy. I think the uh, you know the fireplace that's still there. It, it's yeah. not functional. Don't start a fire in there. Do not do that. <laughs> do not do that. It doesn't work anymore. But the uh, you know the, the the fireplace is still there. Mm -hmm. um, you know we have our Knights of Columbus mm -hmm. meetings in there. We have little socials afterwards. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a like the parish center over here. It's a, it's a cut up space. Um, we are looking at what we can do to make that a more functional space going mm -hmm. forward. Father Thomas yeah. kind of initiated this review of the whole campus how can we best use the spaces yeah I, but i think our intent is to keep it just to reconfigure in a way that even to open up that first floor a little bit more yeah like I, that laundry room area is kind seriously, of lost yeah seriously i mean there's a lot of space there that could just be used i mean think of the think of the things that we could even just the courtyard yeah. the cookouts and whatnot that chapel it's just that it's such a nice space mm -hmm. and i'm sure not very many of our parishioners are aware of it or go there. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's kind of also, especially access from the, well, inside you don't even hardly know it's there because of those drapes, but yes, then you've got the, yeah. uh, the playground and the fence there. It, yeah, it's it's very nice. I, I really loved it over there. Yeah. Um, also, also we, we received something uh, this week that was excellent. Oh, yes. Huge shout out to one of our viewers, Katie Shanks. Thank you for the cake that you made us. <laughs> it is awesome. It I don't was, know. Yes. I don't know for the last two days. Yeah, it was. It is delicious. So it will definitely not last two days. And it was really, it was really beautiful. It was very nice. Very Thank artistically you. done, Katie. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Tasted great. Mm -hmm. um, we we had a nice sugar buzz going first thing Friday morning. Here. Yes, yeah. Coffee and cake was, was a great way to start the day. Breakfast of champions. It was, it was. Yeah, it was very good. Thank you. So, yes. Thank you. Huge shout out. We, uh, we appreciate mm -hmm. you. And it sounds like we may have some other exciting adventures coming yeah, your way. Yeah, We're exploring you, some ideas. You, one might think well, they've done the entire campus. I don't know what they could do, but I think we've got uh, a couple of great ideas. We've got least. some ideas up our sleeves, so hopefully we'll continue to be able to, to entertain you all. And mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and tune in next time for Adventures with Mike. And Brian. See you all. <laughs>